And new developments in the investigation into the IRS targeting of conservative groups. The woman who has really been at the center of this whole scandal. She pled the fifth, as you well remember, to avoid incriminating herself. But now lawmakers are demanding access to what they have learned is a private email account that they think she may have been using for some business. So that raises a lot of questions. Those emails could be key to determining what really went on and who gave the orders that she said they basically received. Doug McElway is live on this in Washington. Hi, Doug. Hi, Martha. The law firm representing Lois Lerner just told me that they will have no comment regarding the letter sent to her by the House Oversight Committee. That letter says in part, and I'm quoting here, the fact that it appears Lois home is saved in your IRS email account raises concerns that you have sent IRS doc documents to at least one non-official email address and that you may have conducted official business using non-official accounts. Here's the lady who took the fifth and wouldn't answer Congress's question, wouldn't answer to the American people. And now we learn she's conducting official business on a personal account, in essence, p potentially hiding it from the taxpayers, hiding it from the American people. We want all her emails, every single email that deals anything with this scandal, we want that information. The committee knows that Lerner sent a speech that she gave at the IRS to her personal MSN account. The U.S. Code states in particular about this kind of thing, no officer or employee of the United States shall disclose any return or return information obtained by him in any manner in connection with his service as such an officer. Since we don't know who has access to her private email accounts, she may well be violating Section 6103 with an improper disclosure of taxpayer information, which is a crime. So that's significant. Number two, you've got to ask, and, and I think it does point to a serious legal issue here, what was she planning on doing with those documents? And the Oversight Committee letter to Lerner requests that she send all applicable personal correspondence from January 1st of 2008 until the present. And they want those emails no later than 5 p.m. on the 27th of this month, Martha. Oh, we'll see if they get them. Doug, thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. All of this comes just days after a video surfaced of Lois Lerner back in 2010, the same year that the IRS started to target conservative groups. And she gave a speech at Duke University. And in it, she discussed the political pressure, as she characterized it, that was swirling around the IRS, including demands that the agency do something to stop the flow of money from corporations to political campaigns. Watch and listen to this. So everybody is screaming at us right now, fix it now before the election. Can't you see how much these people are spending? I won't know until I look at their 990s next year whether they have done more than their primary activity as political or not. So I can't do anything right now. Supreme Court dealt it. All of this has critics asking how she is still collecting her generous taxpayer-funded salary. Last year, she made $177,000 and a bonus of more than ten grand. Since she was placed on leave in May, she's collected an estimated $30,000. That's pretty good for a paid summer vacation. Uh, Monica Crowley is a radio talk show host. Kirsten Powers is a Daily Beast columnist. Both are Fox News contributors. Ladies, welcome. Hi, good, good to have Hi, both Martha. of you. Hi there. Uh, Kirsten, let me start with you. You know, at the very least, when you listen to what Lois Lerner is saying, right, and you realize that she, she's a public employee, Employee paid for by the U.S. taxpayer. Uh, why, why is she able to take the fifth? I mean, she should want to answer these questions because that sounds, the statement that she made sounds like somebody was telling her, listen, Lois, we need you to rein this in. We cannot have this money going to these political campaigns and it's up to you. Why shouldn't we have the right to hear what happened from her? Well, I do think we should have a right to hear from her. And I, I think a lot of people were offended when she took the fifth. Precisely because none of us have that right to do to do that if the IRS is coming after us, right? I mean, we we have to answer their questions. So, why shouldn't she have to answer our questions? Um, you know, I have to say, in terms of the the video you just played, it's not clear that anybody was. To me, it just sounded like there were people that were complaining. It's not, you know, I, I don't know that that there's anything wrong with that or there's anything wrong with what she said. I just think that she needs to be transparent, and if she is using her personal a, you know, private email account, then that's obviously a problem. And, and, and I think that that needs to be disclosed. 
You know, where, so all of these things that need to be disclosed, Monica, uh, we were told by the president that he thought this was reprehensible uh, and that this can't mm -hmm. happen, that you can't treat people with one political belief system different than people with another political belief system. And it, we know that this department was supposed to sift through and find out if there was political activity on the part of these groups that want to be tax exempt, but that, you know, conservative groups were treated completely differently than uh, progressive or liberal groups. Mm -hmm. So what, you know, where, where are we? The president promised an investigation and it feels like nothing's happening. Right, when this scandal first broke, you said it, Martha, he claimed that he was outraged and deeply disturbed by the revelations here and he promised to get to the bottom of it. And now we have the president and his associates calling this and, and other things, including Benghazi, phony scandals. So which one is it? Um, it is, I, I think that the Republicans actually are doing this in a very slow and methodical and deliberate way, the right way. Uh, they have some Democrats along with them in this investigation, Daryl Issa's committee and some of the other committees, Ways and Means, looking at this. And they are slowly peeling back the the uh, pe the, uh, the onion skin, Martha. And, and with every passing week, we seem to get new revelations. Like this one, Lois Lerner, apparently and allegedly using private email accounts, maybe even fake alias accounts that we've seen other members of the Obama cabinet use, including the EPA administrator, Lisa Jackson, the DOJ assistant attorney general during Fast and Furious, Lanny Brewer. So we know that there has been somewhat of a pattern in this administration. So what the uh, Republicans, what the different committees are trying to get to here are the facts. The facts will not be revealed overnight, and that's why I think this investigation still has a long way to go. Lois Lerner, uh, she is drawing a taxpayer-funded uh, paycheck this summer. We all, all are footing the bill for her vacation. Um, what she is trying to do is argue for immunity. She's trying to say, if you guys give me immunity protections, then I will tell you what you what y you need to know, or what at least what I know. The Republicans have to tread very carefully here that they don't make that deal, uh, and, and it's a worthless deal. They need to make a proffer yeah. and have uh, Lois Lerner turn over what she knows. Do you expect, Kirsten, you know, September, October, when everybody in Congress comes back to work, uh, that she will be compelled to testify again? Well, I don't know if they can make her testify. You know, I, I think that that's the whole question. If, she, if she's pled the fifth, you know, there's an argument that because she she gave it <clears throat> gave a defense of herself that in fact she's waived right. that right. But you know, I don't know if, if they'll be able to actually compel her to testify. It would be nice if they could. Um, you know, but but I think that as it as it stands, she's been able to sort of cloak herself in this constitutional protection and and, and not have to answer the questions that that people deserve answers to. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, if she gets immunity. In the meantime, she's uh, on paid summer vacation, which is a pretty nice deal. Uh, but the fall may yeah. not be quite so pleasant. Uh, thank you so much. Good to see Thanks, you both, Martha. Kirsten you too, and Monica. Martha. We'll Thanks. see you later.